Yo, what is up guys? Boris here coming to you guys with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. This is the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! mobile game. I'm not entirely sure where exactly it's out or available at the moment, but you can definitely just get it to Q app like I did. Um, really, really exciting new game. Pretty much all of my friends that have tried it so far have said that it's probably the best Yu-Gi-Oh! mobile game so far. And uh, because it's a new game, they have a lot of cool login rewards. So today I'm going to be opening up a ton of packs for you guys. Uh, and yeah. Let's go ahead and, and just get straight into it. I haven't actually played the game myself, so this is just gonna be a pack opening. Maybe next stream, I might decide to uh, build a deck and try to go through the game. I heard there's a lot of challenges, a lot of good fights, and there's also online as well. So you can go online, you know, and try to do the ladder. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Now, unfortunately, there's only one set available at the time, and uh, yeah, the cards are not too good <laughs> in this one. But this is only the thing available, so you know, this means that if you are a beginner. Or even like if you don't really, if not that good at deck building, it's not going to be too difficult. There's not much to choose from. Uh, keep in mind also, guys, that this does use the speed dual format. So pretty much three monster card zones, three spell zones, and then uh, 4,000 HP, 4,000 life points. And I'm not entirely sure how many cards you have uh, at the beginning of the game. So it is, it is the speed dual format. But I think that fits the mobile game perfectly. <laughs> you don't want, uh, you know, a full game going on. Uh, you know, especially for online battle. So I think Speed Duel works really great uh, for this sort of a mobile uh, device. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, I'm not entirely sure where this is at. So if you, you can't get it, you know, just go ahead and get use Q app. You know, veterans of the channel should know how to get the Q app and download games from there. So these are the ultra rare cards that are available. Uh, and then I think are these are the super rares. I'm not entirely sure how this works. But. Oh no, there's normals, rares, and then super rares, and then ultra rares. Guys, th this is really cool. The way it works is that there are a certain amounts of each card per box. So right now, there's one of each ultra rare, there's two of each super rare, six of each rare, so on and so forth. And pretty much, if you pull, let's say, let's say I pull Fusion Gate, ultra rare, then it takes it out of the box. That means, you know, if, if I'm trying to get like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, it's a lot easier <laughs> because you know, there's less cards in the pool every time you do a, a, a pack. But let's say the only card I'm looking for is Axe Raider and I pull him, then I can just reset the box and it resets the entire box. So uh, it puts him back in there. So it's really interesting. I really enjoy, uh, I really do think that this is going to be the best way to open packs because it guarantees getting the card you want after a lot of packs, but it, at least it guarantees it. And on top of that, once you get the card you want, you can just reset the box. So. Personally, I don't know exactly what I want. I know um, Actuator for sure because I mean 1700 early on four stars You know can never go wrong with that. I'm not too not too uh, sure about a lot of the other cards But hey, man, let's just go and get straight into it. Let's try to at least get um, You know some packs going so we're gonna go ahead and do ten packs uh, And then we're gonna do another ten and then maybe we'll use the rest We'll see I don't know what else you can use these uh, crystals for in the game So here we go first pack Karibo on the left. I think just means it's gonna be a rare uh, we're gonna start with bite shoes. So yeah, the cards aren't that great, but again, everyone else is not gonna have great cards. So you know, you don't. You just have to make a decent deck, and you should be fine. Curse of aging. Increase the attack and defense of all opponents' monsters uh, by 500 points. Uh, until, okay, so that's actually probably not a bad card at all. So, right, second pack, we got another Karibo. Here we go. It, it's gonna be a long video. <laughs> oh, Element Doom. So I heard the Element cards are really good. Um, Element Doom and Element Sorcerer. I can't remember exactly. Book of Secret Arts. Equip, equip cards, you know. Not sure if I'll use those, but Element Doom is a nice pool. The Element cards are really awesome. I think they, they're based around having other elements on the field. Uh, so, and they can also... Um, oh, let's see. Contact? <laughs> Actually, I've never seen this card. Um, control... Okay, it's like... Um, interesting. Well, I'll, I'll read all the cards later. Ooh, a rare! In the second slot. And a rare in the third slot. That's interesting. I didn't even know you could get two rares per pack. 1500 force. I haven't seen this card either. <laughs> equip, uh, turn on a cool card and banish that target if you do. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually a really cool card. Uh, probably a little bit too slow, but you know, it's fine. Ooh, okay. So we got like a square animation. There's a lot of different animations uh, that I've seen so far uh, from other pack openings. Blazing uh, Hita. Interesting. Guardian Bow. <laughs> and the Sword of Dark Destruction. That's always a cool card to pull. So far, no super rares. Um, I'm enti not entirely sure, you know, what the ratio is. Uh, but yes, four ceasefire, dark cat with the white tail. I think I actually used to use this card back in the day. And fulfillment of the contract. So this I think works with any ritual monster. Yeah, this actually that might not be a bad idea. If you can find a way to put ritual monsters into your graveyard, 
can bring him back with that. Um, however, I think if the equipped card dies, they die as well. And we got these are these are charmers are pretty tough to Oh triple karibo! Triple karibo! <laughs> yeah, this is uh, I think this might be an ultra rare. Uh, we got Kaiba there. Alright, Fortress Whale. <laughs> Fortress Whale's oath, okay. And Shard of Greed! Oh, it's a super rare, but still. This is a, each time you draw a card during your normal draw phase, draw a card. Uh, put a greed counter and then you can okay, so this is a draw two, but you have to use it, you have to wait a turn. Pretty much. You play it and then uh, next turn you can't use it, but the turn after that you can. So, I mean, it's probably one of the better cards in the set. Um, not sure. Oh, not Triple Karibo again! <laughs> back to back Triple Karibo. I'm not, okay, so does Triple Karibo mean super rare or ultra rare? I'm not too sure. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. But Malice Ascendant, okay. Ah, just a rare, okay. So, I don't think Triple Karibo means anything then. Maybe it's just a higher chance. Maybe it's a higher chance of getting. Okay, well. well Alright, let's go. Great Mammoth with Gold Fine. Spell Absorbing Life. And... Oh, Magical Hats! Magical Hats! Uh, probably not that good in this, but maybe they... I don't know. We'll have to see. Interesting card, though. Interesting card. Awesome. Any, you know, Super Rares. Take those all day. We still have some more packs here left. Okay, not too bad. Let's try to get an Ultra Rare possible. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the animation is for... Oh, wait. Tornado. And Sword of Dark Destruction once again. So those are all my cards in my first set of uh, packs here. Again, Element Doom is an awesome card. Uh, it's a dark, so you can it works with the um, the Yami, I think it's what it's called. And then um, it also negates the effect of an effect monster if, uh, if it's Earth. I, I, I think it might... Oh, there you go. You can scroll down. If the wind, this card destroyed by your opponent's monster, you can attack twice. Oh, so this, yeah, this is going to be a really awesome card. Um, and yeah, we're looking for 1600 attackers, I guess, as well. You want just to run those four stars. All right, ten more packs. Here we go. Let's <laughs> see if we can pull an ultra rare. Let's see, maybe we can pull a couple. Of vo uh, I mean, uh, Axe Raider would be awesome. Seventeen hundred attacker. It would be sick to get for sure. All right, Blade Fly. Enchanted Javelin and oh, ultra rare. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, interesting. Try get one monster. Your opponent's <laughs> great. Wait, I didn't even see any animation for that. That's interesting. Oh, so this is this is sort of like a monster reborn, but you can only use it there, uh, for your opponent's side, and it costs you 1,500 life. But this could still be a really awesome card to have for sure. That was the first pack, I think, or second pack. I'm not too sure. What else do we got here? Uh, Ritual Cage, Conscription. Oh, this is actually an awesome card. I mean, I don't know how good this these cards will be, but this is uh, back in the day was a really good card. Uh, because it'll allow you to stall and dig deeper into your deck. Try to get your better cards. Uh, let's keep going. Turtle Oath. Enchanted Javelin. And Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. Interesting. It allows them to attack twice, but they lose 500 attack points. So probably not that good. Right. Well, we got an Ultra Rare. So, Rod's Mind Eye. Snake Hair. And another Sword of Dark Destruction. I don't know how many rares. I think there's like, what, six rares? Per box. Oh, hieroglyphics. I don't think that means anything either. Uh, maybe just super rare. I don't know. I see a trap card. Storm wind and blue eyes ultimate dragon. We pulled it, guys. We pulled blue eyes ultimate dragon. Yo, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna screenshot that real quick. Oh my god, dude. We got blue eyes ultimate dragon. This is like the iconic card. I don't think. I don't know if you can play it yet. I don't know if you can get three blue eyes in story mode. Um, I did pick Seto Kaiba as my starting character, so maybe I'll get some of those later on. I'm not too sure. But hey, man. <laughs> we got the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Nice, nice, nice. Interesting. That's two ultra rares in our second set of packs. Okay, let's keep going here. What else, what else can we get here? Element Magician. Nice, nice. Really awesome card. And another skull angel, cool, cool. So maybe you can make like a light theme deck. That'd be pretty interesting. Uh, what else we got? Ooh, does this mean? What does that mean? I'm not too sure what that means. Rare, maybe. Judgment of Anubis, rare. So maybe that just means double rare. It's an awesome card, but I'm not sure if I'll use it. And Lena, the light charmer. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really. Plan Ooh, triple Karibo, triple Karibo. Let's see. Oh, purple, uh, ra uh, rainbow, Seto Kaiba, triple Karibo, King of Yamakai, 
fortress well and mask <laughs> okay so we got an ultra rare this is awesome um you can just pretty much use it to lower the attack of a monster i believe oh no never mind controller takes uh, i cannot attack so okay prevents from attacking so that's actually a pretty cool oh triple rebo again oh dude these are probably the best 10 packs oh and we got kaiba dude oh let's go <laughs> king bow blazing hita and <laughs> triple ultra rare he name is awesome uh, if you're ahead on the board, on the field, if you have, you know, if you're winning, this card pretty much seals the deal for the opponent. Hey, right. more blue eyes. Tornado, Malice Ascendant, and Ausa the Earth Charmer. So I think that's it. Yeah, so that's it. Three ultra rares. <laughs> Automaton action unit, blue eyes ultimate dragon, Mask of the Accursed super rare. Uh, and Hain Hain is our ultra rare too. So pretty crazy. That's that was pretty crazy We do have enough for a couple more packs. I think like six more packs But as you can see as I was saying earlier as you pull the cards they start getting taken out of the box so Actually tells you there's hundred and seventy nine packs left So the fact that uh, there's what? Um, Ten ultra rares. That means about one every 20 packs now we've only opened 20 packs and we've gotten three so <laughs> That's actually pretty lucky, um, and uh, let's see what else is here. And we see you, the commons. You, you can still see the commons. It looks like there's probably like ten of each, nine of each common, um, maybe eight of each common or something. Maybe there's uncommons. I'm not too sure. And then like you know rares and stuff like that. So guys, we let's do the last couple packs here. Six packs for 300. Um, and again, I'm probably going to uh, stream this at some point so we can you know work on decks and try to see. Get some more points and coins. Definitely be logging in right now, guys. Anytime the game starts, like today, we just got like another 300 or something for for some sort of uh, maintenance error or something. Crass Clown, this guy's awesome. Uh, if you can get him to work, pretty much anytime you switch him to defense position, uh, he kills a monster, I think. So, Ultimate Rising, Griffon's Feather Duster, another skull. Oh, double rare. Double rare, okay. Double rare is just nice. It takes two rares out of the pool. Alright, what's up next here? We, okay, this is, this is, I think we have three after this, right? Novox's Prayer, Ritual Summon, Meteoran, and Dream Clown, another one of those. Oh, this is the one that changed. Yeah, so when this changes, this one is the one that kills the monster. Uh, Triple Karibo! Okay, come on. Oh, big Karibo! Is that a guaranteed ultra rare? Oh, dang. And Hieroglyphics, and Rainbow, and Kaiba! Oh, no! This has to be. No, don't tell me we're getting another ultra rare, dude. Oh, is that. I see a trap card. Could that be Magic Jammer? Magic Jammer! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Four ultra rares, man. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. That's insane. That is insane. I think we have one pack left here. One or two packs left. I think it's I think it's one, but it might be two. Dang. Element Magician. Again, this one's I heard it's pretty good. What else is there? Or maybe it's Element Sorcerer, I don't remember. Staunch Defender, new card. Interesting, and is that it? No, oh, the triple Karibo to end it off. Yo, all right, Kaiba, Kaiba, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, Kaiba. Yo, don't tell me, don't tell me. Did, oh, a magic card, so it's probably gonna be a, a super rare. Ascending Soul, once per turn, where ritual monsters, ritual summon. You can, okay. Well, that's actually really awesome. Chanted Javelin and Order to Charge. This actually is in a, in a really good card if you have enough normal monsters to, to run it. Awesome, so we end up with a super rare. So we got more ultra rares than super rares. I think that is insane. That is insane. Again, it's probably about a one in twenty chance to get a ultra rare. We opened about twenty six packs and we got four ultra rares. Insane luck, man! <laughs> Holy crap! Now I, again, I do want this. I'm gonna keep pulling until I get Axe Raider, because seventeen hundred attack right now is insane on a four star. Sphere Kareem, I actually have never seen this card. Uh, so let's read it real quick. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Change the attack position to defense when you ritual summon uh, with a monster. You can bash this card from your graveyard. Oh, that's actually a really interesting card. I, I do want that as well. Um, Sonic Bird is another card I really want because it enables ritual decks and Summoner of Illusions. Um, tribute one other monster. If you do special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Oh, no. This, this card can uh, summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. That card, so if we get that card, we can summon Ultimate Dragon. Fusion Gate, another card that would be awesome for fusion decks. And a Magical Arm Shield, one of the best battle tricks 
Uh, that's probably out right now in the game. And there's a lot more good cards to get, as you guys can see. Definitely want some of these 1600 rares, um, which unfortunately we didn't get any of. Uh, I think there's 1550, uh, 1550s, uh, whatever. But and actually, there's. I guess that's the only one you can get. But yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links videos, or if you guys are interested in potentially me streaming the game, streaming some battles and deck building and story mode, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know if you guys did any pools as well, because I want to see what you guys got. And with that said, guys, until next time, peace.